Today I want to take a look at how to load PowerShell PMP the right way. So if you're working on a new shell, maybe a new operating system, either Workstation Win 10 or Server 2016, you might not have the PMP commandlets available. In that situation, we want to install them the first pass. But if they're already installed, go ahead and import to load them. So most scripts are going to start out with import module SharePoint uh, PMP PowerShell online. What we're seeing here is line number four, and that's the only thing they're going to have. I suggest that we add two lines before it. The first is a detection with git command, and the second is an install module. So what we're going to do is detect are the commands available, and then if they're not available, go ahead and run an install command to download and bring them into the host operating system. Now this is something that your users won't really see, doesn't really change their experience very much, but it makes your script more portable. So if you take this PS1 file and you share it with other people, you put it on a new server, you spin up an Azure VM for the first time and you execute this script without thinking about the dependencies. If you follow this pattern of putting two extra lines prior to import, you detect and install, then your script becomes more resilient, more portable. That's really helpful in a cloud-based world where we're doing things like Azure VM scale sets and you're adding new web servers maybe dynamically. You are sharing code on blogs and GitHub and really just not knowing the dependency and the configuration of the host machine. So before you do your import module, go ahead and do a git command and if the command is not there, run an install module. It's only three lines instead of one, but I think it will make the scripts more portable. So here we'll go ahead and highlight line two and run F8 to execute single line. And we'll do $PMP echo. We can see the command is here. So in this case, an install would not occur, and we'd go ahead and continue down to the import. Now, if I were to make a console where the commands were not available, switch over to a new console, run that same command here. PMP is not available. So in that case, the if statement would test to true that the PMP is not defined and the install command could go ahead and execute, download those commands, nine megabytes to a temp folder, install them, and now they're available for use. So then we'd follow that up with one more command, which is import module. And at this point, we can go ahead and use our connect. And we have our commands defined. So before we do an import, we want to do a git command followed by an install module if the command's not defined. Something to think about, make your PowerShell more portable. Thanks for watching.